So the question came up, how to project onto a surface. So in this case, let's say that we need to create an offset plane from here out in space. We create our offset plane, and now we're gonna create a sketch right here on this new plane. If I were to sketch a rectangle, and I wanna place this on this rounded face. So once we have the sketch, we're going to go up to create and use project. Now the first gotcha is if you try to use project, this is not gonna work. This does not project onto curved surfaces or onto rounded faces. But if you look down below, you'll see project to surface. And there is one more gotcha in this command as well. We'll go ahead and try it. We're gonna select the face that it goes to. The curves are the sketch lines. So if I double click on the sketch lines, it selects them. And here's our warning. You're going to get this message that effectively putting a sketch on a sketch is not supported, which is really annoying. So not a big fan. I wish it was more clear. So what you need to do is cancel, finish the sketch. Now on this existing plane that we just created, we can create a brand new empty sketch. So we have this brand new sketch. And what we'll do is go up to create, project, project a surface. We're going to do this face again. We're going to choose the curves. You have two project types, closest point and along vector. This solves along the vector that will get the closest points or soonest solution possible with the closest vector. I've noticed that it usually shrinks the design. If I were to go to the along vector, I'm probably going to get a more true solution. This I'm going to choose this axis as our direction. You'll see the arrow for the vector. When I compare this sketch to what's being projected onto the face, you can see it matches it almost perfectly. And this is creating this elongated effect along this rounded face. Click OK. We now have a projected entity right along this face. Hey, I hope that helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.